What's going on, y'all? Lucky Dipper here. Back in the 9,000 degree heat, we decided we're gonna make a video out in nature. I know that y'all can hear the animals. Oh, somebody knows what they are out there. I can't remember the name of them right now. Today's video, we're gonna be doing the top five snooze products. Snooze, snus. How do you guys say it? I don't really know the proper uh, pronunciation of it. Now remember, I'm here in America. Not all snooze products are available to me like they are to you guys in, say, Sweden and Germany and stuff like that. So keep that in mind as I go through this list. This video was actually uh, given the idea to me by a TikTok of somebody who was doing snus. And I'm like, well, hey, I'll put up my top five reviews or top five snuses and then... I'll make an actual full-length YouTube video on it. So, starting off the list, at number five, it's an actually American-made product, I presume. You got Skull Snus. Uh, this one's a mint. It's pretty good. I mean, it's not great, but for being mint, it's not too bad. They do last long. You do get your nicotine. And... I have reviewed these. They're, they're not the best, but, you know, they're better than some of the other nicotine pouches that I have tried. But definitely better than, like, Velo and those. So, that's number five. At number four, we have another American-type product. Camel Snooze. This one's the mint. Uh, my favorite is the Robust. And the thing I like about these is they have full flavor. Like, I tried the Robust one, and you get that full flavor. And it almost feels just like a tobacco pouch. Uh, Camel don't make other any other chewing tobacco that I know of. So, but the, these, and the mint one, the flavor is very strong. The nicotine is actually fairly strong as well. Not the strongest, but has more nicotine than Skull one, so I'll give them that. I mean, really, they're not bad. Uh, Camel should probably stick to cigarettes, but these are actually fairly good. If they weren't so expensive, I'd probably dip them more. Coming in at number three, and this one is probably the biggest disappointment on this list. <clears throat> I was disappointed when I first got it. Grizzly Snots. Now, I've been a big fan of Grizzly. Some of the viewers from my channel will know that. Um, I was really excited when these came out, and I was, and then when I tried it, I was actually, like, fairly disappointed. I thought Grizzly could do better. Now, for those of you that only dip snooze products or only dip pouches, these are actually really good. They're, they're a great pouch. You get the nicotine, but for those that uh, have regular tobacco and dip and all that, not so much. I mean... Honestly, I'd stick to Grizzly Pouches if you go that route, but these aren't half bad. Uh, plus, they're a little more expensive than, like, Grizzly Pouches, to be honest. The flavor was, like, really strong. Like, almost as strong as uh, some of those higher nicotine content pouches. It's just, like, the tobacco and the... You know, they don't last as long. It says no spit pouches, but... Realistically, they kind of make you want to spit. What do you guys think of this one, anyway? Has anybody tried it? Uh, do they have it in your area? And yes, these are all American-made, or supposedly. So coming in, at number two is actually a non-American one. We have General. So I found these at the local tobacco shop. I've always wanted to try them. And I think they're like six bucks a can here. General Swedish Snus. These ones actually come with 24 compared to all the others that come with uh, 15. So that's one thing I do like about it. Secondly, the nicotine content in these is very overpowering. Like you need one and it'll last you a while. The, this can actually lasted me longer than a can of normal pouches would. Actually lasted me longer than a can of normal tobacco would to be honest. Um, I was actually pleasantly surprised, these ones, 
that's just me. If you guys tried general snows, you know, without ordering a mine, I keep keep in mind that I, I do know there are a lot of other snows products out there in different parts of the world. And I'm actually working on trying to order some of those and try them. But unfortunately, they're not all available at gas stations here in the States. Uh, for those of you non-American viewers, different states sell different products. And here in my state of Kentucky, yeah, they, they don't sell a lot. But you do occasionally come across something cool. So there's that one. And coming in at number one is another Swedish product. This one I got, uh, I believe it was on Northerner or Prilla. I believe it was Prilla, actually. I think I, I did an Instagram. When I post on Instagram, I tagged them. This one is Siberia. So, you guys have heard rumors that this is the strongest nicotine pouch that there is. And honestly, I'd agree. These are super strong. Like this one... Yeah, this one still has actually some in it. Woo! Like, you open the can and you can smell it a mile away. I don't know if y'all have ever actually tried these. This reminds me of spearmint gum. Like, you open it and you can just smell spearmint gum. Very, very strong. I like it. You know, this is one of the strongest ones. And probably one of my favorite snooze products that I have tried. Plus, a lot of smelling it smells like uh, spearmint gum. And honestly... Trying two pouches of this in this like 90 degree heat will make you sick. Stick to one, I will tell you that. Like if you're gonna do it, stick to one pouch at a time. You go two in this heat and everything else, you will get yourself sick. These are very, very strong. Um, yep, Siberian and under sale prohibited. Obviously cool storage recommended. Well, kind of broke that, but this is the strongest one guys. So those are my top five sneezes so far. Uh, I will update this list when I can get some foreign products and other things like that. So let me know in the comments, guys. What's your favorite sneeze products? What do you guys like? And what do you think of this list? Have you tried any foreign products or any others that you think are better? What's your list, guys? Let me know in the comments below. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok. You'll get a lot more content. That's about it, guys. I'll see you guys next time.